Hey, it's Heather, and let's unbox my Wantable. All right, Wantable arrived on the same day as my front door fashion, and I'm going out of town the day after tomorrow, so I've got to get everything filmed and sent back beforehand so that I am not behind or asking for extensions. So, let's just get right to it. I do like Wantable. Um, it is, let me pull the paperwork out so I don't tell you anything incorrectly. Yeah, um, it is $20 styling fee if I'm correct. I'm sorry, $21.55 is the styling fee. But that is credited towards anything that you keep in your box. It is an online styling service, like all the other boxes that I usually do. And you take a profile, you do a quiz online, or a, you set up a profile of the things that you like, your style, your sizes, and that type of thing. And a stylist then chooses outfits or pieces of clothing that he thinks will suit you. And Scott is my stylist. He has been my stylist for a while, and he has done a very, very good job. Um, they do send you a prepaid mailer for you to send back anything that doesn't work for you. And in this box I have seven items. I'm going to read his note real quick. He says, Hi Heather, I'm so excited to style you this month and help build upon your warm weather wardrobe. I also wanted to include a great, great layering pieces when you're headed indoors or to wear during those cooler evenings. He probably understands that even though it might be 95 degrees outside, it is not that way indoors. I'm also... I'm so excited to style you again. I made sure to include several of your stream requests. Yay. They do have a stream, which I do like, and I'm constantly going in there. I change my mind. Sometimes I take them off my stream request list, and sometimes I add new pieces. I did actually, before I requested this box, I took off quite a few things and added just a couple. So uh, the Jasmine Floral Blouse pairs with your NARA Adjustable Strand Bracelet. Alrighty. The Insta Soft Ankle Denim Pant and your favorite pair of flats or heels for a sleek and trendy look. So, if you keep all five items, you get 20% off in this box. So, I'm, I'm assuming two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, if you keep five, not all five, because there are seven items. So, you keep five items, you get 20% off. So, that's good. So, the merchandise total comes to $393 even. If I keep five items, I save $78.60. Um, plus the sales tax minus the styling fee would come to three seventeen twenty two, and that that's if I kept everything in the box. So I'm wondering if this box was styled before or after my stream now, because I'm thinking there might be one of those roll tab sleeve things that hangs. I don't know. I'm seeing it. Okay, let me show you what I'm seeing. I think it's falling out. The color is phenomenal. Lord. Why do I have to like these shirts so much? Just those tabs. All right, let me just peek. I did see a piece of jewelry pop out. Let's start with that because it's like separated on my list. This is the NARA Adjustable Strand Bracelet Multi. Uh, okay, there's two items in here that were on my stream. This I requested them. And I requested them in, one was in June and one was in July, the end of, towards the end of July, so I think this might have been before I took stuff off my stream. All right, this was not a request. The Not Adjustable Strand Bracelet Multi, it's one of those, can you see, how does this work, is it backwards? Is that on the wrong side? I think that was on the wrong, there we go. It's hanging a little bit better now. There are multiple strands here on one, tie and then you just pull these things I I don't know that that's me I don't have anything like this but there might be a reason for that and is that going to just continuously come undone because it's kind of chunky kind of heavy has a little bit of weight to it why don't I just wear it while I do this and let's see what happens put that to the side so I don't lose it and that is $44 so it seems a little pricey although I mean that's like having five bracelets in one right all right, move the tissue paper so I'm not making a lot of noise. And I'm going to try to start with what's on the top of the list. This is by Vince Camuto, and I like Vince Camuto. The Sleeveless V-neck Country Bouquet Blouse in Electric Blue. It is in a size medium, which could be a problem. I don't know. There's no buttons, so maybe not. Um, I'm usually a medium if there's no buttons. I'm usually a large if there are buttons. But I do like the blue. It is sleeveless. It's uh, the... the 
polyester probably let me just take a little peek here and of course it's a plastic little see-through tab where I can't tell what it is yes 100% polyester it felt like it I'm not sure the the floral print on this I mean it, it, I see the country bouquet in that for sure so I'm gonna I'll definitely try it on and see what we think and that is $59 all right next item is the insta soft I like those words insta soft ankle denim pant in Melrose size 8 they're Kenzie jeans they're just a dark dark blue denim almost like a um, an ink blue you know what I'm saying um, in a size 8 they are soft they're kind of thick I don't see any distressing and if they're ankle jeans they're probably gonna come to the top of my foot and maybe even pedal a little bit but we'll have to try them on and see and they are $58 so not a bad price there's a couple little pieces of string stuck to them but they they are not like um, they don't excite me there's nothing unusual or different about them so it wouldn't I might put them on denim jeans in so soft 24-hour comfort luxe to the touch slimming illusion so maybe I'll put them on and all of a sudden there will be something exciting about them and I told you they were $58 all right the next item it says I requested this in July I don't remember that camo thermal split neck top in camo green size medium by Z supply it looks quite large but it could be a comfy little you know this cool fall nights or for a throw on do I do I need that though and it is $58 I'm seeing a theme here it is long sleeved it's just a thermal there is a pleat in the back and a v-neck split a, a split v-neck here so um, it does have a nice thick hem here a nice wide band but it's not cinched so it's, I think it's just gonna be hanging and it's $58 so um, we'll see it seems a little bit big and baggy but it could be a comfy cozy right all right the next item is another blue top the printed sleeveless ruffle neckline top in blue size medium by hazel and I have not received anything from hazel before I do see the little ruffle neck with a slit v-neck and it also has ruffle around the edges of the sleeves no buttons there's some pleating going down the front and it's just blue and white is it lined it is fully lined and this one is you guessed it $58 I'm not sure I'm not sure let's let's try it on and go from there all right the thing that kind of sticks out of my mind in my head here when I look at this is the Jasmine floral blouse and blossom journey size medium in the color it doesn't say clearly it's like a corally pink it does not have a collar it's a, you know, a fold down collar it's just a rounded neckline with a v-neck button down love 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 the color I don't love these sleeves you guys and I know I mean I would never wear this rolled down so maybe if I love 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 it when I put it on I will love it enough to take a stitch and just maybe tack both sides of this sleeve so that it would always and forever stay like that because I wouldn't wear it down it would end up being too long for me and I do not want to take any unless it's something dressy something I really can't do I would prefer to to not take them into the seamstress if it's a dress or something or having a you know coat done there are certain things I can't do this is $68 so we are up by 10 do I have a I'm gonna need a undershirt for this so and then the last item in here is the Marley mid-rise roll cuff short with fray hem in medium wash size 29 by Vigas for $48 um I don't know that I need another pair of shorts right now so here here's an issue with these they are tacked here on the side and they look pretty good here in the front but this is how they were in the box and that means they're constantly going to be coming untapped right I mean unrolled and it's gonna look sloppy and I own three pairs of denim shorts I'm not sure I need another pair so and these are $48 so so far this hasn't come undone these have quite a bit of distressing on the front and I actually have a pair 
and it was I thought I was wearing them this morning and then I changed but I do have a pair of already highly distressed denim jeans give me just one these are the pair I was wearing this morning I don't really go outside in these these are silver jeans company um, I don't really go outside in these because they're a little bit short. I mean, outside of my house. I mean, I, in my front yard I do, but these have like a um, denim behind it, a different color denim behind it, so you don't see any skin in that one. This one, there's a pocket behind it, and there's a patch behind these two. So I already own a pair that are distressed. I don't think it's necessary to have another pair. But depending on the length of these, if I'm comfortable trying them on, then you'll see them in the try on but let me grab my husband and an undershirt a tank top so i can wear underneath i need to just keep a cami up here for this type of situation one that maybe an old one that i'm not going to wear regularly all right give me just a second all right so i went ahead and put them on i'm not super comfortable with wearing them i feel like they're a little bit short for me to be putting them out there um they're the marley mid-rise roll cuff shorts with frayed hem and medium wash i like the wash of them um but i just it's coming to the end of summer and I just don't need, I guess they're not overly short. I, I just, they're not what I need right now. So they're going to be a no. And the top is the printed sleeveless ruffle neckline and by, by Hazel. Um, I don't think I like it. I, I, it feels like a maternity top and it might be like a size too small. Not that it's tight. It just feels like it should be a flow rear top and it's just not me. So let me get changed. Okay, I thought this was gonna be too small. It's not pulling here at the chest. The color is vibrant and fun. It fits me perfectly. It's these sleeves, but like I said, if I fell in love with it, I would just go ahead and tack these and keep these always and forever rolled this way. What do y'all think? I like it. My husband said winner, winner, chicken dinner when I put it on. So that's that goes to say he likes that too. The jeans, remember I told you I wasn't super excited about them? They feel amazing. I mean, they are a little thicker material. I almost wish they were a different color blue though. I mean, these are very, very blue, blue, but the fit is perfection on them. I mean, the waist, the everything about them is a very comfortable, I mean, they're called denim jeans. You guys see what that says there? A little play on words that they did. Insta soft. I don't know, guys. Maybe, maybe the other two tops will absolutely wow me. And I don't know because the bracelet has already pulled. I had to tighten it when I was just changing my clothes. So the bracelet's probably a no, um, and that puts me down to four items. So there will be decisions to make. So I'm gonna keep the jeans on and try on the other two tops, but this is a good possibility right here. Okay, as I thought, this is way too big. So I must have accidentally clicked on request this. It's definitely not something I would normally pick. I don't mind a little camo here and there, maybe a sleeve or whatever. And I don't, I don't mind camo in general. Just I don't think this is really what I'm going for. Uh, and it's, it's too big, it's very large. And this is by Z Supply, and it's pricey, so this is a no. I've got a one more top. All right, I'm a little surprised that I kind of like this. I love the vibrant blue. It's just the print of the floral. I saw my hair is on my face. I'm sorry. Um, this is the size medium by Vince Camuto, sleeveless V-neck country bouquet blouse in electric blue, and it's definitely an electric blue. Um, I mean, it fits perfect. There's. I have absolutely no complaints. It is a little lower in the back than it is in the front. I don't know. But yeah, I guess I need to look back. I've learned that I see myself very differently when I watch back my footage. I feel like everybody in the world, after you've gone shopping or take, when you go shopping in the dressing room, film yourself if that's possible. And if you, when you look in the mirror, it's a little different than when you see yourself from another angle and watch yourself back and then you can decide whether or not you like it or not. Clearly, if it doesn't fit, that's one thing, but if you're questioning it, film it. So, um, I'm questioning it, so I'm gonna look at my footage. I'll see you in a sec. Let's do my wannable recap for August. I, I'm kind of in a split decision here. My my issue is the time of year it is. It is already, you know, the first week of August is complete. 
and we're going to be going into cooler temperatures so shorts are obviously out so let me just go ahead and start with that these shorts are going to be a no based on time of year um, and since i'm looking at it right now i've already got the little bracelet wrapped up back up in its bubble wrap slide it back inside its little jewelry pouch that's not really my style and it already had you know it's going to be one of those i'm constantly pulling the tabs so that's a no the camo shirt i actually hopped onto my stream and i did have a z supply um thermal in my in my wish list um which i've now taken off but it wasn't this one and uh, clearly i would have needed a smaller size anyway and i just just not something i need i'm definitely gearing towards fall in with that color or with that that type of material and that that type of sweatshirt but not something i need this what was this by this is by hazel um the printed sleeveless ruffle neckline top uh, i think it was too small and it's just not a me it's too honestly the word that comes to my mind is little house on the prairie it's just not me so that's going to be a no um the three items i'm questioning are this top this top and these jeans <laughs> Clearly, I'm not having a problem finding jeans. I mean, in my past, it has been going into stores, trying to find petites, but having subscription boxes and, and people finding them for me and sending them to me has made jean finding a whole lot easier. So it's just a matter of, are they unique enough? Are they different enough than the 25 pairs I have in my collection already? Or do they wow me? So let's leave those to the very end. This top is cute. Um, I love the electric blue, and I think if it were just a solid blue, I probably would have kept this. But these are very little country flowers, and I don't feel like it fits my personality. And other than that, it fit great, and I love the blue, but it is also 60 bucks. It's $59, so, oh, you know what? I think I told you 58 to begin with. It's $59. So I'm gonna say no to that. All right. Here's where my angst is coming in. I love the color of this, but after the next four weeks, I won't wear this again until next year, late spring. And will I still love it then? I'm always gonna love this color. I like that this is like a pink punch to me. I just love this color, but it's a very sheer. I don't think I liked it with a white cami underneath it i think i would want to do like a nude cami so the white wasn't so obvious underneath it um i love the flowers and i i don't you know this it's very springy to me and not fall not winter and will this be forgotten about in my closet come next spring and the fact that it is 68 dollars hi yeah 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 y'all what would you do? Do I love it enough to chance it and pay $68 for it and let it sit in my closet until next spring? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I love the color, it fit perfectly and I would tab those sleeves. So guys, I'm questioning the denim jeans and these. Do I need another pair of jeans? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't need another pair of jeans. Are they unique? No, they're a just a basic. They're kind of a like a ink blue, you know, like a not a normal denim blue, but a darker blue. I felt like they were pretty slimming on me. The ankle length was absolutely perfect. When I said they felt incredible, they really, really did. How much were they? They're fifty-eight dollars. But you know what? I'm gonna say no because I don't need them because I have so many jeans and I would rather be something that is unique and different to my jean drawers. I have two jean drawers. I have, they're side by side in the bottom of my dresser. The left side are the ones that I go to on a regular basis, tattered and torn, you know, worn in really well. Um, that I know very, very well. The ones on the right are either ones with embroidery on them or have a little bit of a boot cut or a different style that I would normally wear or are different, you know, 
dressy jeans if that's a thing something that's a little bit more different than my basic go-to drawer both drawers probably have 12 to 15 pairs of jeans in them so that is not a necessity so which brings me back to miss pretty in pink here <sighs> all right so I'm not gonna get a discount clearly on this box. This is a $68 box. I am gonna take $21.55 off of that. So let me just do the real math on this so that I'm not guesstimating. I mean, if I took $20 off, it's gonna be $48. So it's gonna be about $45 and change. So let's just do that math. <sighs> I don't know what to do, you guys. And I really need to make this decision today. And this, obviously this film, this video is not gonna go up today. Um, because I'm leaving and I need to get this box in, back to the place tomorrow, take everything at one time and, and be done with the, you know, for all the stuff for this week and not have something looming or asking for extensions. But the colors, the colors, the colors. I'm gonna run downstairs into my closet and I'm just kinda gonna go across it and see if there's anything in there that I feel is similar. I'll be right back. So that was actually a really good plan on my part because you know I, I say I did a closet tour a while back and I told you that I pretty much know where everything is. That doesn't mean I know what all I have all of the time. So I could have literally just jumped on my wantable closet to see but this is the shirt that I just tried on and I'm hemming and hawing about because I love the colors in it. This is the shirt that I got from Wantable in March. I forgot I had it. Now granted, they are slightly different in print and this one has a little bit of green in it whereas this one has a little bit of yellow in it. Um, but I actually forgot I had this and it's the same situation with the sleeves that I will need to tack this. So I'm going to make a point of doing that hopefully today. And I have one other and these are both, these are both cut cut I have worn this one there's no tags on this one I do remember this now that's why I'm glad I went down there to see if I had anything that was similar I have one other one that is just red and white that is the exact same and I purchased it in April of this year it is the exact same size the exact same cut the same sleeves and everything it's red with white flowers in a size medium fits me the exact same way so clearly I've answered my own question here. So this one's gonna go back. It's not nearly different enough for me to do it again. So what that means is I'm buying nothing out of this box. And that's okay. I am gonna lose my styling fee. That's okay. What I need to do is the next time I request a box, I need to be very specific about what I want. Yeah, you know, I need things that are not this, this type of material or, um, summery spring type materials you know what i'm saying i need to focus on fall and winter which i don't need a whole lot it's, it's, i just like closet refresh from time to time i obviously like to buy clothes there's no doubt about it i love clothes i love shoes i love purses i love makeup i like to shop i didn't used to this is something that's happened in the last few years but i do like to shop and i'd like to have something new to wear you know regularly you know and and I do wear them clearly I haven't worn this one in a minute because I forgot I had it but I'm glad I went down and checked before I went ahead and purchased this so so that's gonna be it for my wantable for August I hope you guys will give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and come back and see me in my next video have a very happy day I'll see you soon bye bye